obviously we have a huge uh, challenge this week going to play LSU. Uh, I think you know this year is a little bit different in a sense that we're playing them the first game. So those teams that you play the first game, you have an opportunity to watch them for a long period of time, which we have. They're extremely talented. Um, I think, in my opinion, extremely well coached and then going in to play a really tough environment. So you put all those three things together and it's, uh, it's certainly going to be a uh, huge challenge to have great players. Um, I've really, you know, watching their players, uh, they've obviously done a great job of recruiting. The other thing I think LSU that's unwritten and I read stuff every day here that's I've never really seen written is the job that LSU does developing players. I think it's as good as anybody in the nation and they're listed as as good anybody in the nation with Tommy Moffitt with their strength coach, but they have a great infrastructure that was started about 12 or 13 years of, of develop player development and how to do it, and they do it as good as anybody. So they have very, very good players, number one. I think they're extremely well coached. I've always admired Coach Miles and what they do. The thing I admire about him is he does what he does, and that's what they're going to do, and they do it very, very well week after week after week. All the little things they do well, Again, just spending an entire summer watching them. I mean, they block as good as anybody blocks. They tackle as good as anybody tackles. Their system is consistent through the year, so their kids play fast. When you look at them on tape, there's not a lot of indecision going on, and uh, they don't beat themselves. I've really been impressed with what they do. Um, they obviously have really good assistant coaches as well, so I'm really impressed what they do. Like I say you may not like what they do, but that's, you know, Somebody may not like it or whatever, but uh, it is what it is. He does what he does, and they do it extremely well, which I think gives them a chance to win every game. What we're going to do and what we've always done, and, um, you know, for us to have success, and, you know, we have had some success, really, if you look at the teams in the FCS, really other than North Dakota State, I, I would think we would rank about as good as anybody else in terms of what we've been able to do against FBS schools. But, um, you know, this is obviously a different challenge. But we've had a great uh, camp. I think we have a talented group of kids. And, you know, we're emphasizing the same things that we emphasize every year, regardless of who we're going into play. Uh, we have to do a great job in the kicking game, no doubt. You know, you just, you know, and I've said that through the years, and I know you guys have been here through the years. But I think the two things that will get you beat quicker are, is the kicking game and conditioning. If you're not very, very solid in the kicking game, you just give up cheap things. Or if you're not conditioned to play four quarters, then obviously, you know, you're in trouble. And we emphasized that to our kids the last couple of weeks. You know, they got more players, whatever. We got 11, they got 11. But the difference is, is, you know, you may have to play on a couple more teams than their guys do. They may have a sub maybe quicker than whatever. So we have to be in really, really good shape in order if we have to stay on the field longer. And I, I, think, we, I think we can do that. So. And then the, I guess the, the last thing is, too, that, you know, we're going to emphasize our players and what we emphasize every year when we go play a bigger school is, you know, we're going to be McNeese. And, uh, you know, we're going to do what we do. It's what we did last year at Nebraska. It's what we did at North Carolina, Texas A&M, whatever. We're going to do what we do. You know, we're not inventing the wheel or going in there and, you know, and trying to, uh, to trick them and do all that kind of stuff, which we never have done. We're going to do what we do both from a defensive standpoint and an offensive standpoint. If you watch our scrimmages, which hopefully LSU hasn't, that's what we're going to do. You know, it's, it's no secret. I mean, like I said, but, you know, and if that's not good enough, we'll get on the bus and come home. But we want to make sure that, you know, that McNeese shows up and we do it to the very, very best of our ability. And that's what we've done in all these games. And like I said, it hasn't, we haven't overblown it or, you know, went in thinking we had to do all this, all this crazy stuff. We're not going to do that. We're going to play football. We're going to play football the way we know how, and if it's not good enough, that's fine. We'll come home, but we're going to make sure we do that.